We didn't know. use this cut. Burr! It's cold in here. There must be some vlogmas in the atmosphere. I said, oh we, oh we, oh we. It's day seven. There you go. Bye. Leash. Good evening. It's, oh god, 2 a.m. <laughs> I've been tooting around on my computer trying to do this 10 page essay that is due in 12 hours. I just got to a point where I'm rereading it. I have like half a page more. But I got to a point where I was reading it and my eyes started to skim and I felt myself starting to go like, hmm. So rather than continue onward and try and pushing myself to finish this essay tonight, I have 12 hours to do this. I'm gonna take a nice little, nice little nap meaning a whole a whole sleep i'm gonna get up early tomorrow and try and finish it up kaylin wants to have one last little outing with all of us before she leaves tomorrow she's going home early for christmas break because she doesn't have finals and she's finished with everything on campus and she lives like five hours away she rarely gets to go home and the more time the better so she's leaving she wants to have lunch with us and that's at 11 tomorrow so i'm very dedicated to getting this done and out of the way so that i can be with kaylin and have those memories and not have this ruined by trying to turn this in. The really annoying thing about this essay is that it's actually due on finals week, so it's not due until Tuesday. But since I'm graduating, they need my grades in by a certain date in order to see what honors I'm gonna receive. So basically, even though this is not due until Tuesday technically, I have to turn it in, what, four days early because I'm graduating and they have to be able to grade it in time. Love that concept. Rather than complain, I'm gonna take a little rest and go do a shower for the first time. <laughs> in three days. I've known from the beginning this essay is all over the place. Like I'm trying to do way too much for a 10 page paper and it really bounces around and subject a lot. If you told me to tell you my thesis of this paper, I really can't. Caitlin walked in like half an hour ago asking, oh, I know it's about Moby Dick, but what is it about? And I was like, and I almost regret going to my professor to ask about it because now he knows it's my problem. Now he's gonna read it like, Hmm, she doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> I think tomorrow when I get to page count, I'm gonna go through and highlight it and add notes and see what all goes together and then maybe like just reshuffle the information so that it flows. I really don't want to have to delete parts of it and then go back in and add more that's relevant to my topic. So I'm just gonna pretend like it all fits and I'm just gonna reorder it, okay. Shower time, then bedtime. I have post shower raccoon eyes, but I'm not gonna wipe it off, so ignore it for five seconds. Tonight for Christmas, Julia got me a murder weapon, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Julia got me this book, which is called Bad Girls, you can read, it's called this. I'd never heard of this book before. I don't think it's something I'd ever pick up for myself. It seems like kind of a YA thriller mystery, but I sat down and read the first couple pages and I'm hooked. So I'm mentioning this up front, but I think I'm gonna start reading this. We'll see how far I get in it tonight. I think it's the break I need from high lofty literature that we just read for all my classes. So I know I just said I'm gonna go straight to bed, but I'm gonna give it a little bit. I'm gonna wind down before bed and go back to my roots and read some YA. Good morning. I'm shocked I actually woke up, but oh my gosh, I need to wipe this mascara off my under eyes. I have six hours until I have to turn this paper in. It's probably only gonna take me like two hours or an hour to finish it. I got my laptop. Let's get to rereading and finding where we can add more information. Guess who finished her paper? <laughs> I still have to proofread it and everything, but you bench reached 10 pages, so I'm finally done. Is it good? <laughs> Debatable, but it's done. I could go to his office at 12 and have him look over this because it's only 1045, but we're going to get donuts at 11 to say goodbye to Kaylin. But one thing I did, <laughs> I'm so funny. This is the last paper I ever have to write for a college class. So Oops, that's why we're excited. So I thought I'd be so funny and include this quote basically saying I never had anything to say unless I was getting paid for it. And I said, it's me writing this essay. But we are done, gals. We just have three more essays to write today. <laughs> I totally forgot I have two essays due for my um, capstone class. That's just like reflections on the English program, but I think they're like three or five pages. I'm fine. I'm taking a break from the essays. We're gonna go to get donuts with Kaylin and we're picking up Veronica. I had some demon lactose snack last night without a lactose pill, so today could be horrible starting soon. 
But let's well, do it. Last night killed me. What do you mean? I don't know what I ate last night, but it murdered me. Really? Squad thing. roll out. <laughs> One last daylight donut. You know what you did this vlog your freshman year? <gasps> I did. We did go here freshman year. Uh, What'll it be, gals? Bye. I love donuts. <laughs> we got some nets. Donut haul. These cake donuts slap. These are my favorite kind of donuts. Really? Yeah. Have you ever had them? What's your donut haul? I got a chocolate glaze and two spicy kolaches. Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> you have a donut haul? I have a donut haul. And I also have a Our last daylight donuts all together. Squad roll back out. Oh gosh, I have so many things. Um, <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you, came in. <laughs> One last time. History size on you, 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 yeah, yeah. I gotta teach them how to say teach goodbye. Them how to say teach goodbye. them how to say teach goodbye. Them how. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Wow. One last time. Yeah. <laughs> Five daylight donuts. It's been real. It's been fun. What? They don't have a clue. Who? If I'm loving, here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. Oh. Okay. Our core chocolate's down to triple. <laughs> Did someone say presents? Is that for me? Is that for little old me? Are we doing it at the same time? What did you do? It's a beanie! Let's go. I literally have been dying all semester because I don't have any. It's also here. another thing in yours, another thing in yours. <gasps> it's a shirt. Yours doesn't really go together, but and then yours second part's oh, coming. Yeah. If it's too short or doesn't fit, let me know. It's That's so cute. Hopefully it's not too short. I mean everything's too short, so yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you know that I'm a mustard gal. I know, I know it's your sweater. color. Go try it, <laughs> it might be too short. Let me know. It Does it? It's not short at all. Yeah, it's really long. Cool. I mean, the jeans is a, is a look, but. That's cute. That's a, that's a 2,000 look. Oh, I know. I'm just like, hey guys, I need like a card game. <laughs> well, since we discovered yellow was her color. Yellow. Oh, she's cute. She's Hi. springy. Can I get an AMI essay? <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. Thank you, Kaylee. You're welcome. I'm taking the bread. <laughs> okay. Take it off our pants. I have a um, lunch thing that we're going to. Oh, okay. nope, that's my underwear. Can you bring buns? Okay. That was Christmas. A pants. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh -huh. I'm glad it's not too short. Yeah, it is not short at all. It's like knee legs. I have done it. I finished conquering the dick. This is. 13 pages conquering dick. of conquering dick. Yeah. I'm gonna go turn it in. I was gonna go in his office and be like, hey, do you wanna like look at this and see if it's Wait, good? Fuck that. I'm just gonna like, hand it to him. 13 inches. Oh, oh, oh. Is that what you meant by conquering the 13 inches? I gotta no. go. <laughs> I have my folder of all the different stuff that he wanted, like the annotated bibliography. I'm gonna walk through the rain. Got my new little infinity scarf that Kaylin gave me. I love it. I don't know if blue and gold go together, but we're doing it. What you yelling about? She called me a hoe. Is she wrong? Yes, she is. Let's go get this bread. Let's get it. Let's go get this whale. Don't let the bread get you or else you're toast. <laughs> I was about to leave and Kaylin hit me with something. <laughs> I'm leaving in 10 minutes. No, Kimi. No. I'm about to write you your letter. It's okay. You can mail it to I'll me. I'll mail it to you. Thank you for everything. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> you were my first friend. You were my best friend. Look at us now, bitch. You always stayed by my side, even when I was annoying, and I <laughs> farted so many times on your side. You farted so many times. <laughs> Everyone's gonna miss you. You're like part of this. It feels like I'm gonna come back and you're gonna be here, but you're not. You're not the one coming back, though. <laughs> so long, uh, farewell.
Do you, my friend? I don't want to go now. I don't, I'm not going to turn into this paper. No. You know what? I'd rather go. And not and, see me leave. Yeah, and not see you leave. Alright, well, let me say bye to them. Let me put my... Goodbye, stuff. people. It's been fun. Enjoy the Instagram lives. Oh my everything. god, everything got the Instagram lives and the whip. And the whip. I'll give one last whip. One last whip. Let's do it. Ready? What? Yeah, do big boy <gasps> and yeah boy. Ready? What's what I'm doing first? Let's do the yeah boy. Okay. One last yeah, yeah. boy. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah boy. boy. Okay, she's all turned in. I'm better now. I'm, I'm okay. As I was walking here, I kept thinking about the fact that Caitlin was leaving. I kept crying again, but I'm good. Two things. First, I have a group project I'm meeting up with people at two to do, and I haven't started any of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit down and do a PowerPoint on that. Second of all, you've seen this room before. It's the English lounge I'm always chilling in, but this poster has been here for several years and I have said since my sophomore year when I graduate I am taking it with me because no one uses this office so I'm taking it. I love Starry Night. I busted my ass for this English department. I feel like I deserve it. I could branch about this assignment I'm doing right now for a hot second. In my Sherlock Holmes class, it's an honors course and a lot of it was like the professor said, oh, you can decide what you want to do for all the assignments. So all my dumbass underclassmen classmates were all like, oh my gosh, instead of doing a big research paper, we should do a bunch of smaller assignments. Thinking like, one to two page assignments. But then when I told that to the professors, the professors were like, bet, let's just do a bunch of small assignments. And so we got like three assignments that were five pages each. And this final assignment my class came up with, and it's so dumb. We have to like make a mystery for another team to solve. And we have to write a three to five page paper about that mystery and then present it to the other team and they have to solve our crime. Just let me write a research paper. Oh my god, I hate this assignment so much. It's literally the day it's due. I'm meeting with our other team in an hour and I have two slides of a PowerPoint over our victim. I don't read thrillers. I don't know how to write a mystery. Long story short, I thought I would be done with school as soon as I finished that essay, but I just realized this sucks even worse. Okay, I'm gonna work on that now. I'm a dumbass and forgot I have a meeting at two for my work. So I'm actually gonna go to that, do my project at three. I have a page and a half done of the thing that I needed to do. It has to be three pages. I'm only like halfway done, but that's better than I thought it would be. And I think it's working out. I didn't think it would. Isn't my umbrella the cutest? I just got out of the meeting with the other team that I'm working with on that group project. And theirs was so good. I have four brain cells. <laughs> I'm so bad at guessing mysteries, so I didn't get it. But oh my gosh. But now I have to go home. I wish I could say it's time for a break and I get to rest. But I have two essays due tonight for my capstone class. So basically just reflections on the English program. I'm gonna go off. <laughs> I just wanna keep vlogging. Like, look how cozy this is. My little infinity scarf Kaylin got me today. This little umbrella. I love it. Okay, I'm back home all nice and pink because it was pretty cold. <sighs> Today was my last meeting for the writing center and they gave me this little present with a card. I'm gonna open that now. So like I said in my last vlog, I've worked at the writing center since my sophomore year. I had a very emotional leaving, so I'm excited to see what this letter says. I gave my boss a huge hug. I was like, thank you for everything. You shine brighter than the stars. Whitney, congrats, grad. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication to our students. Love the TASP team. I'm so glad I didn't buy one of these, but it's a little MSU cup. It looks very official. Oh, there's some peppermints. 
little MSU keychain. And then just some candies, which I'm all about. It's my last time working at that job and it was so fun. I loved that job. I had someone tell me while I was working at that job that I'm the most bubbly person they've ever met. I don't consider myself bubbly, but I don't know, that job just made me so happy. I love talking to people about writing. So I actually forgot to mention a thing that's happening tonight. I have two essays I need to work on before seven o'clock hits because at seven I'm going to a professor's house. One of my favorite professors that I really haven't talked about that much because I don't have his class this semester is Dr. Schultz who I've had creative writing classes with, literature classes with, like I have just have taken a class from him every semester of school except for this one because his class got dropped. I cried. <laughs> he invited a bunch of students over to have a pizza party and the way he invited me was he came to the writing center and he was like, hey Whitney, you want to come see Yoda? <laughs> Which is his dog's name and I was like, is water wet? So Christy and I are going to that tonight. I don't know if I can sneak in some vlog footage because it's can be awkward. <laughs> that is my incentive to write this paper is as soon as I finish these two essays that are just like opinion based responses to what was my English experience like, then I will be ready to see a dog. Let's go gals. Do, 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 do. Update, just texted Christy to see if she'd started this assignment and she said it's due tomorrow. I just looked it up, it's due tomorrow. I'm gonna edit my vlog because if you don't know, yesterday's vlog went up super late. Then I'm gonna start those papers because they're just a self-assessment essay, a program assessment essay. I can do that in my sleep. There's not even a page count. I'm just gonna write one paragraph. Yep, I did well, bye. <laughs> Took a power nap before this, before this party. I'm freezing. The roomies oh. are watching Mean Girls. I'm going to this party by y'all. Oh, I'm gonna meet my professor's dog. Okay, bye. Let's get this bread. And by this bread, I mean this dog. Christy and I are back at it again. Hi. Gonna go pet a dog. Yeah. Do you even know what we're doing? Is it just like a hangout? Um, I, I just am going because. Oh, that's said right. I was. You're my plus one. Wait, he didn't invite you? No. No, his wife did though. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, why wouldn't he? Because well, you're graduating. Like, Christy, are you coming to the party? And I was like, yeah, bitch, I'm coming. She's like, okay, have a cookie. I was like, all right, bye. I stand. Continue on Cat Boulevard for one. I'm gonna pay attention to these directions so we don't go back to Dallas because I'm so not paying attention. I'm too shy to vlog at this party because there's so many people and it's so intimate. I'll vlog. You wanna vlog? Do it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. These are my friends. Yeah, I think when you said Whitney, it was actually pointed at me. Sorry. We're like, hey! There you go, you're welcome. Ich bin jetzt zu Hause. I'm so full of pizza and cookies, but I still have yet to finish editing my vlog. Literally in the middle of editing, I got so tired I went and took a half hour power nap. That's my night. I'm gonna finish editing yesterday's vlog, even though I'm gonna be posting it at like midnight two days later. I know y'all won't mind getting three videos in 24 hours though. I feel like this is just gonna be the setting every time I end the vlog because it's where I sit to do my editing, so. Here we are again. It's almost 3 a.m. I just finished editing both vlogs that I was really not caught up on. I wanted to say thank you everyone for tuning in. Today was an especially emo day for me because Kaylin is one of my best friends of all time. I am so lucky to have met her. She was leaving to go home for Christmas and then as soon as I go home after graduation, I'm not coming back. So it was like the last time I'll see her unless they come and see me or I get a car and I come visit them. Don't know what my job situation will be by then. I don't know. Well, next time we'll see each other basically. I was a little emo noodle today. I got to pet a dog. It was all right. From here on out, it should be a lot more regular. Well, I mean, knock on wood. <laughs> I only have a couple essays left to do, like I've been saying. Then it's a whole chill week of catching up on sleep, catching up on journaling, cleaning this abomination of a room. So that's what we have to look forward to. Thanks everyone for sticking around. When Santa's sleep bells ring, I listen all around the house.